couple pointed guns at demonstrators near their central West End home. The crowd was protesting for the resignation of Mayor Lida Krusen after she announced the names and addresses of some demonstrators calling for police reform. Emma Hogue is in the neighborhood this evening after speaking to the couple and a protest organizer. We're told this all started when protesters went marching through this gate here at Portland Place, what's considered private property. That couple tells me they pulled guns out because they felt threatened, but tonight protesters tell me no threats were ever made and this was an otherwise peaceful protest. They uh, um, threatened our, our dog's life. They threatened to burn down the house. Hundreds, uh, seemingly hundreds of people said, we're going to come back and get you later. Tonight, Mark McCloskey tells News 4 he and his wife feared for their lives Sunday night. The couple pointed guns at a crowd protesting through his neighborhood, considered private property. The group was headed to Mayor Lida Krusen's house. I stood up and uh, announced loudly, this is private property, please go back, leave. The, as soon as I said the uh, words private property, it, it enraged the crowd. Video shows protesters walking through what appears to be an open gate. The couple later shared these photos of the wrought iron fence destroyed. As McCloskey held his gun, he says protesters made death threats. There were, I don't know how many people, there's a tremendous number of people, all angry, all shouting, all coming towards us. They came out strategically antagonizing protesters, saying, get out of our neighborhood, get out of our neighborhood. Rasheen Aldridge leads the Expect Us organization and helped plan the protest. While he admits the crowd was on private property, he says no threats were ever made and the protest was otherwise peaceful. And they had their guns drawn at protesters as if they were going to shoot them. And what we did is we actually took the high road and continued to march on. We had people on the champ saying continue to march, continue to march. Tonight, the McCloskey's law firm in the Central West End is boarded up. The couple practices mainly personal injury and civil rights cases. The two are currently defending this suspect caught on video being kicked by a Four former minutes. Woodson Terrace police officer following a carjacking in May of last year. A story News 4 has followed from the start. I think needs to be done and it's something that, that uh, there, are, there needs to be some voice for the people who are voiceless and I like to think that we're that, that, that entity. Sunday night, McCloskey says he was using his voice and actions in self-defense. I was doing what I could and I was all alone facing a large crowd that was very intimidating and, and frightening. Circuit Attorney Kim Gardner says her office is working with the police department to investigate how all of this unfolded. She also says she will not tolerate the use of force against those exercising their First Amendment rights. Still a lot to come on this one. Count on News 4 to track every new development. Reporting in the Central West End tonight, Emma Hogue News 4. And late this afternoon, an attorney from the McCloskey's expressed support for peaceful protesters and blamed any aggressive tactics on white agitators. A statement from attorney Al Watkins says in part, quote, the McCloskey's want to make sure no one thinks less of Black Lives Matter. Its message and the means it is employing to get its message out because of the actions of a few white individuals who tarnished a peaceful protest. News 4 wanted to learn if that couple could face charges for pointing guns at protesters last night. This is what a local criminal defense attorney had to say. The law in Missouri uh, says that it's illegal to uh, display a gun in an angry or threatening manner. Um, and whether or not uh, what those uh, homeowners were doing was in an angry or threatening manner, um, you know, comes down to the prosecuting attorney who reviews the evidence. Christy Flint, the attorney that you just heard from there, says the couple could be charged with unlawful use of a weapon, and as for the protesters, they could be charged with trespassing.